So I'm on the eastern coast of Trinidad at Matura Beach. And joining the episode with me today is a leatherback sea turtle, one of the most incredible reptiles in the entire world. This is such a charismatic animal and has come a long way to lay her eggs right here on the beach. So when a leatherback sea turtle comes onto the beach, what she'll initially do is climb up to the part and then start spreading the sand around. When she finds a spot that she's comfortable with, she'll start using her back flippers and scooping the sand out. And when a female lays eggs, it'll be about 80 to 100 eggs in each clutch, but a female can come to the beach and lay eggs about 11 times during a nesting season. The reason they lay so many eggs is because so many of these turtles get eaten or accidentally killed when they hatch or when they're in the ocean. And so it's basically survival by numbers. The more eggs that you lay, the more turtles that hatch, the higher the survivability of these populations are. So what she's doing now is she's actually covering up the cavity that she created. So after about 60 to 70 days, these sea turtles will hatch, make their journey across the beach and into the ocean. Now specifically in Trinidad, these animals were poached, but a program started called Nature Seekers. And what they did initially was guard these animals and that turned into education and getting people excited about the leatherback turtles here on Matura Beach. And it actually has led to a situation where this is the second largest nesting area for leatherback turtles in the entire world. These leatherback sea turtles primarily feed on jellyfish. Now this animal has a unique adaptation to retain the jellyfish it consumes. Its esophagus is lined with downward facing spines which prevent the jellyfish from escaping as they enter the stomach. As you can well imagine, with so much time spent on feeding, the turtles encounter a lot of marine debris and garbage, especially plastic grocery bags. These bags closely resemble the look of jellyfish, especially when floating in the water column, and are often mistaken as such. As a result, a lot of turtles die due to the consumption of plastic bags. We are assisting the researchers in a very important study. They are trying to find out the nesting patterns of these turtles, and to do so, they must collect some very important data. First, we take a scanner and look for a microchip in the animal's shoulder to see if this particular turtle has been examined before. The scanner is giving us a number, which means at some point another researcher has worked with this turtle and placed that microchip just under the turtle's skin. Next, we measure the turtle's carapace, and this will allow us to see how much the turtle has grown since the last time it was examined. Finally, a secondary ID tag is placed on a rear flipper, so I check that out and report the number to the researcher. By doing this, we can learn what beaches this animal frequents and how often, which gives us valuable insight on the leatherback population. So she's finished up laying her eggs, and now she's getting ready to head back into the ocean. She's resting just a little bit before she heads out, but I tell you what, this has been an amazing experience, and I hope you've enjoyed every minute of it as much as I have. If you want to see more adventures through Trinidad and Tobago, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.